We got another exciting day up ahead for you. I woke up nice and bright and early this morning at 5.20 o'clock in the morning and I coached. So that's where my day is at. I hope your day is good. I'm trying to decide if I should get a second job. I am currently working only three hours a week at this coaching job. So I'm hoping to get a little bit more, but we'll kind of see. Here's for breakfast. Same thing as last week, yeah. I think I'm gonna get the spinach omelette. What are you gonna do? Yeah, let's do the spinach. Your coaching was fun this morning. Like they're such good swimmers. That like you don't even need to teach them so much that it's like like I had nearly six to eight kids that might go up, might increase, but no, it's like it's so cool. Like, just teaching them different things. It's October 2nd. You know, it's times like this that I can't help but reminisce about the old days. And you know, I wonder to myself. Is it wise to reminisce about the past? I understand it's probably not. It's probably not healthy to stare for too long, but sometimes you just can't help it with these things, you know? Sometimes the memories just come flooding back and they're too good and you want to remember them and you want to cherish that, but uh, is it wise? Is it, it's, it, I mean, it's good to be emotional. It's a really good thing. Is it worth it? guy he took my big nut he took my big nut come back there he is got some nuts wait you keep this on your car all of the time yes no wonder you're nuts tough one to get because he he doesn't stick oh there you go oh yeah i see him oh it's adorable. It's adorable. The tree's full of them. That's like four. That's goodbye. They're so cute. Oh. They're so light. Yeah. They are, yeah. Here, give me that life preserver. I'm freezing out here. Thank you. Look at this. It's a it's a present. It's a present for an elf. It's a tiny little bow tie, or it's for the squirrels. Who knows, maybe either or. I'm running on nearly three hours of sleep. Three to five hours of sleep, at least concurrently. So we need to figure out camping equipment, food, a tent, and maybe we'll meet some friends up there and we'll, we'll just play it by ear, you know? And I'm taking you with me on every step of the journey, all right? We'll see you. Good job. Oh! Five minute parking. We're, we're practicing our ghost we're impressions again. Thank you. There's a, there's a reason for that. It's like a download. NRG. So we're at the uh, the camping store, Mountain Equipment Co-op, and uh, we're looking for some last minute supplies before I go on my camp trip. So we're gonna see what we can find. I'm hoping to get a Pelican case, a waterproof Pelican case. So we'll see you inside. Eureka tent. For a hundred dollars. 
drop down from 250. It's literally got a small tear in the in the corner. That's really good. It's really, really good. Come on. Look at this. That's what it looks like. This tent. Originally 250, reduced to 100 bucks. That's pretty good. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna go with this. Let's go with this. Better than spending whatever 300 something, and then just sew, just sew the the entrance that's ripped. This is my answer. This is this is no joke. This is like the perfect size for one or two people like my size. My feet are stretched. I mean, like I can back up a little bit. My head's up to here, you know. But I'm like, I bring the single. I bring the single air mattress, a few, a few pads underneath. I'm, I'm golden. You know what I mean? Sleeping McLeod here. I. Just woke up from get two and a half hour nap. We still got a lot of packing and uh, things to do before we go tomorrow. I kind of just passed out. I had a nap, so I'm kind of tired. We got a lot of packing left to do. I got little things that I still need to do. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Okay, we'll see you. Cheers, love you so much.